Today I'm going to be reviewing this DreamTech robot vacuum with the emptying bin that was recently sent to me by the brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, show you exactly what you get inside, and then of course test out how well it works. So this is everything that's going to come inside the package. So you do have your auto emptying bin. That's going to be that one there. You do. It does also come with this attachment. This is going to be for your mopping section. It also comes with this brush. You do have to install the brush, but that's really the only installation that is required beyond just plugging this in. So let me go ahead and put the brush on and then get it plugged in. A couple of things about this that I did want to mention before I went ahead and got it plugged in and got it set up and did that sort of a testing. The install on this is quite simply just clicking into place. So that's nice. This is going to be a single brush. And then to empty this, you're just going to take and push on both of those and it pulls right up. And then you can pull out this brush as needed for cleaning. This is going to be, these bristles are not going to be super stiff. And then this is going to be a rubber here in the middle. The problem that I've had with most of my vacuums is that I have uh, three children and also a dog. And so they tend to get hair and those sorts of things down inside of here pretty regularly. So we'll see how well that this brush is going to hold up. But I just, just want to kind of show you exactly what it's going to look like on the underside. When plugging this in, there was another really cool feature that I saw when um, doing this, and that is the fact that this is going to be heavy enough that it's really, really difficult to move around because it's got the little rubber feet on the bottom. So, and because of the extra weight of this machine, it keeps it from moving around. We've run into all sorts of problems with robot vacuums in the, in the past. They constantly bump into their home base and then they move it around and then they don't dock themselves properly, that sort of a deal. So it is nice that this one's heavy enough where that shouldn't be an issue. It's also going to be really nice that on the back, it actually has a spot for the co extra cord to go into so when i plug that into here then i can just wrap the extra cord right here and i don't have to worry about it sticking out or hanging out or not being able to go right up against the baseboard so that's also another super nice feature now the instructions do recommend that you let it fully charge before using it the first time so it's a 39 percent as you can see so i'm just going to go and let it charge and then we'll see how well it vacuums up I just want to kind of show you what inside of the app looks like. So this is the app interface here. This is after I get it set up. Setting up it is relatively easy. All you really have to do is just plug in your device. Once that is done, then you just download this app. So the app is just the Dream Home app here on iOS that I have here or on Android. And then you just go through the setup process. It guides you through step by step, the exact same as if you have a Roomba or I've purchased a Eufy before, the exact same process for getting it connected to the Wi-Fi. Then you can see here right on the homepage, I've got 39%. That's there at the, at the top right. I can then push home. I can Charging. push... Okay, so it says that it's charging. You can probably hear that. So that's going to be the voice that it has that talks. You can also get it to start, go through and set up all of the different options here, um, device sharing and all of those sorts of deals that are going to be on here. So if I wanted to, I could click on go to device. So let me go ahead and click on that. And this is going to then show me all of the different things about the device. So I can push play, I can set up zones, I can set up the room. All those different things are available here on this device page. Obviously it doesn't have a map yet since I haven't started out. So I let it charge up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn it on. I'm gonna be using the app for that. So to do that, you can just quite literally push play once you go into the app. And then it's going to then back off of the thing and clean. I just want to kind of see how well it's going to work in regards to like going around door edges. This one does have a bumper on the front, but it also has that sensor on top, which is kind of designed so that way it doesn't run into the walls too terribly much, which is different than a lot of vacuums are in regards to running into things. So you can kind of see here, it's actually going right underneath that dresser right there. And it didn't even hit the legs on the dresser. So that's actually a really cool option on that one. So I'm just going to kind of let it run here a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and have it go back to its home and then show how it sucks that in. So you can see here that it's picking up what's on the floor that's going to be there, just some dust and that sort of thing. Went around something. There was obviously something underneath there, so it tried to go around it. 
Now on the app itself, you can see exactly the path that it has taken. So that's gonna be really cool. It shows you what time it is, the path that it's currently gone on. So that's what it's doing there. And then of course you can change it here. You can set it to dock. You can set up specific no-go zones. So areas you don't want the vacuum to actually go, that sort of thing. And as, as it's actually going around, it's actually sensing different parts of the room. So as it came over here, it starts to see portions of this room that it hasn't visited before and so it's essentially drawing its own map even if it doesn't go over the entire thing it's essentially figuring out okay where exactly can it go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and hit pause Paused. and then i'm going to go ahead and hit dock to send it back over to its dock so i'm just going to follow it over here see how it does and then i also want to show you how the automatic um, emptying is going to work. Now you can set the automatic emptying to do it every time, every few times. There's a bunch of different settings that you can do for the auto empty. So you can have it do it after like one time, two times, or three times, totally up to you. But I just have it set on one time, so it's gonna auto empty after every time. So let me show you what that looks like. Start charging. Start auto empty. Mm -hmm. And that's how it ends. So essentially, it's just like a vacuum sucking it right out of there and then going up here into the top of the machine. So to empty it, you're just going to pull that up. You can see that it's going to go down inside of there. Let me pull this out just to kind of show you. There's not a whole lot in there, but it's just going to be a little bit of hair and dust. We've got a dog. And so that goes right down inside of there. Then once it's full, then you can just slide a new one right back into the slot. So it quite literally just goes right down into the slot on both sides, right like so. It does come with an extra bag that you can utilize as well. So it's gonna come with two in total, one will already be installed and then one extra one. And just like a vacuum bag, it should last quite a while. Of course, depending on how dirty your home is, if you have a bunch of dog hair, you know, that sort of a deal. So overall, definitely a great option. I love the fact that it's going to sense all around it so it's not going to actually run into things as often as those ones are just going to kind of bump and bump and bump to find the edges this one's actually going to sense it so definitely a great option for your home also the auto emptying just going to be amazing